let's have the last set some discussion at all. so we'll be able to complete all this no um let let me uh, make mention again no? uh let us mention about no uh our resistivity first. So this equation no, that I'm showing right now is known as your Ohm's law. No? And uh, however, now if we go to the next page, uh, we have no, a an expression no, that is let's see now. This one is about the resistivity equation, I guess. So here now. So, so this equation again no, is about resistivity and um, resistivity is telling us that the length of the wire and the area of the wire affects its degree no, of resistance. No? And there's a certain constant there which we call as resistivity, no? this letter P, seemingly like letter P which we call as rho in the Greek letter. No? But rho here is representative of the resistivity value which is a constant and again now if we will try to remember now so this expression again now, is our now, equation for resistance in y rings so there are two factors or three factors actually now maybe we can call basically resistivity as one factor which is dependent on the conductor that you use now the length and the um the length in the in the cross sectional area now um we have here no um in the next column here or in the next page we are actually showing no, some characteristics of uh, of wirings no so what we see here is the area of course and the length no so these are two factors that affects the amount of the current. So there's I there, and I again now is influenced. So if this is your I here, I is affected by how big no, the area and how long no, is the is the length of the wire. No? Now um, as I I've, I've said now rho is a is a value that is listed, and uh, maybe not the the listing is right here. So the listing of the values of rho is this one. We call this resistivity. No? So for every meter of aluminum, it has something like 2.8 times 10 to minus 8 no? ohm in every meter of, of copper. And we will also notice that there's a factor there of temperature that affects resistance. Resistance actually no, increases whenever the temperature is also getting higher and higher. So the more hot is the metal, then the greater is its resistance. So that's a factor of temperature also. But here, we will not, we will not tackle the effect of temperature, but simply the factor called the resistivity value. Now, for example, let's say we have a, let's say the material that we have, so let's say we are given a, what? A copper, no? copper metal. Its length L, its length now is supposing it's equals to five meter of copper wire. Then it has a an area. Let's say its area is around no? uh, two, no uh, square millimeter something or maybe centimeter no? and uh, perhaps now it, it has a what we want to find now is the resistance no? we will find the resistance r that is present in this two in this five meter length of copper wire no? now if you will check if we will have uh, copper here no? so copper has 1.7 times 10 to minus 8 in terms of resistivity. So our equation there to find R is, of course, your rho. No? Let's say we'll just call it with P. But uh, again, we represent it as rho, then L. Then we divide it with the unit area. But remember, the area there 
must always be written in terms of square meter. No? So there's a need for us to convert the value 2 centimeter squared to meter. No? Now, um, the way we change no? 2 square cm no? and we convert it to uh, meter. No? So we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 no? centimeter. No? Am I right? Is uh, 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter? Now, you will notice nga, sir, hindi ba na iaparihas ang centimeter sa square centimeter? Of course, you are correct. No? So, but to make it no, uh, the same, then we will be squaring this value. And likewise, our numerator, we will be also be squaring the meter there. So eventually, you'll have one square meter sa babaw, and you'll have, what, 10,000 square centimeters sa dalong, no? So actually, a 2 cm square, no? If you divide it by 10,000 square centimeter, it will be changed into a square meter, no? Because again, ohm is a is a unit no in mks meter kilogram probably second unit no so um, can you please give me no the equivalent area here no so again no in terms of our scientific notation so this will now be 2 times what 10 to what exponent Uh, so if two is divided by ten thousand, then that will the, that will have four zeros, no? Negative four. We have ten to negative four, and this will now be in meter square, no? Okay. So you can now substitute that in our expression here, no? So again, now if if our row guys, if row, no? So I just use p, no? Okay, that's the closest. So if row is one. 0.7 not that's uh, of course 10 no? uh, then you have there minus 8 then you multiply it with length that is 5 meters our length is 5 meters then we divide this with an area that is equals to 2 times 10 to minus 4 Okay, so we have minus 4 na dapat. And then this is now in square meter na. Okay, then we, then we divide that na, of course. Okay, so let me write some additional lines here. So this is division. Our exponents, by the way, we have this one is minus eight, no? Yeah. Sorry, that, that's very difficult. And then this one is minus four, no? Now, please, can you calculate the last value there, the resistance? So, how much will be our resistance here if we will have this one? So, R is. So the unit that will be left there is ohm. No? It will only be in ohm. Or we can write it as omega value. No? So pila na ba, Gail? May calculator ka da? Do we show calculus? <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, then uh, I have here. So I have something like I have four point twenty five now times ten to minus four. No, and that's again in ohm. So this is minus four. Okay, 
Okay, so in ohm. Or you can use also the symbol omega, guys, no? to denote your resistance. No? So again, uh, so how we calculate the value of 5 meters no? of copper wire that has an area that is equal to this. No? So again, probably if we have a longer area or longer wire, then we expect a proportional increase also in the resistance. No? But again, bigger area will reduce the dimension or the value of the resistance. No? So again, now uh, if we check this, now I think the one with uh, one of the highest uh, resistance here, I think now one of them is also tungsten and uh, tin, no? has a high resistance also just like nichrome. No? Nichrome wire, we use it as a as a stove. No, there are some uh, there are some stove guys that are uh, homemade. No, and then they know use this nichrome wire because nichrome wire can also uh, it glows. No, when you let current pass there. No, so they can use it as a cooking uh, device. No, parehas ang stove. No, uh, nichrome wire is also used to burn some insects. Inabalang naga pang zap sang uh, Ano na, sa mga lamok bala, no? So, I think some of those are using nichrome wire. Tungsten, no? Also has a high resistance, but it cannot, no? Easily, no? Break when heated. No, mayara nga metal yan. Kung init-init siya, mautod siya, no? But tungsten is one material that is used in the filament of the bulb, no? The filament of the bulb is very tiny, so therefore it has a very high resistance. That is why when you put it in the filament, especially when you add some gas there, it will start to glow no, when it heats up. No? So the, the good thing about tungsten is that it can withstand very high temperature. No? But I think right now we don't use a lot of light bulbs anymore no, that uses filament no? because we have uh, LED no, and other types of much more cooler cooler light. No? So again, Fluorescent, no, sir. Yeah, fluorescent lamp, no? It does not use anymore the the filament, no? But uh, uh, tungsten is one material that is used in this filament, no? So anyway, uh, this is our resistance. And uh, uh, if we check Ohm's law, no? So let's say we check Ohm's law here. So here's our Ohm's law principle. Uh, I times R, no? Here is our principle ng Ohm's law, no? And again... Uh, it was formulated by uh, Gay Org. No? So, uh, anglicized way, we pronounce this as George, but uh, he's a German, no? so some people would pronounce this German name as Gay Org Simon Ohm. No? But uh, that's where Ohm's law comes about. No? But anyway, uh, we will just uh, 